How many times have you failed? How many times have you tried something new and different and daring and then it didn't work out the way you were hoping? Or maybe there was some embarrassment attached to it or some shame attached to it. Maybe it prevented you from trying again. Or maybe you watched someone fail and maybe lose everything and then became apprehensive of taking risk for yourself. There are many different unresolved fears within ourselves that prevent us from trying something new, taking risk, being a bit daring, and stepping out of our comfort zone. Being afraid of also failure can prevent us from even thinking outside the box and being open for new and creative ideas and solutions. I can't even recall how many times I have failed. And truthfully, after I have failed that many times, I did not want to take any more risks. <laughs> it is really difficult sometimes to empower ourselves again to step into the unknown and try something different or put the responsibility on ourselves to make change in our lives. And also too, I have to add in a little bit off topic, but it may sometimes be difficult to just start. There can be a fear of failure. Fear of failure is huge, but it holds us back from even trying. And all we can do truly is work on this, breaking through our fear of failure step by step. Just even taking one step in the direction that we want, even if it takes a bit longer than we hope, that is okay because that means that we are making progress. It means that we are still pointing ourselves in the direction of our North Star. And I also have to mention the North Star and its importance. Having an idea of where we want to go in our lives is hugely important. It gives us a bit of a roadmap, a bit of a, a direction of where to point ourselves. So it's the law of cause and effect. So we can either be in the driver's seat of our reality or we can let the universe or reality form it for us. This can also go into a conversation of determinism versus free will. There are a lot of people who talk about free will. Of course, you probably have heard of it as well. We have free will of choice of what we want to do, how we react to certain things, the decisions that we make in our lives. But on the greater landscape, I almost feel that there is something that we are meant to experience and certain things are supposed to unfold the way that they do. And this is the trick. It is a little bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it? So for us to be in the law of cause and effect, meaning that if we are in the effect, we are making choices, we are aware, we are thinking things through, we are thinking a few steps ahead of our actions and our decisions and our behaviors. If we are at effect, we are basically at the effect of others. We let others decide for us. We react unconsciously. We are unaware of our decisions and impacts around us. And so if we are in the cause of reality, we are we are basically creating conscious decisions and conscious choices for ourselves with the idea and with the notion of where we want to go with our decisions. And also, of course, the person who we want to be in our future. For example, if we start to establish healthy boundaries, establishing those healthy boundaries are going to give us more time and space to nurture our bodies, to nurture ourselves, our learning, our growth, and create a more prosperous, balanced future, for example. But if we don't set boundaries and if we choose to overextend ourselves or even overstep our own personal boundaries or let people overstep our boundaries, then we are not going to be able to nurture ourselves. We are not going to have enough energy to create the future that we want, etc. So you can see the difference of those choices. One simple choice and one simple decision for ourselves can create a ripple effect in our future. But I do feel that in some way, there is going to be the cosmic order at play of what we are meant to experience and how we are meant to experience it and how things are going to unfold based on our little decision that we had made before we came into this form in Earth, right? So there is something bigger that we are going to experience. Maybe even you doing your own work is part of your contract in a way, right? So we never really know, but I do know for sure that when we start to make conscious choices and become aware of of our behaviors, um, our actions, our thoughts, our decisions, 
and think ahead and become very conscious and aware of our of um, where we are pointing ourselves, our direction in life, then yes, we are going to make impactful changes within ourselves and within our life. And so this is a very important aspect of having that North Star and knowing in our heart or in our deeper sense of self, in our deeper knowing, the direction that we feel comfortable with, what we feel in alignment with, and what we see in our future. And truthfully, this also does allow us to strengthen our intuition and our inner vision, our third eye. Having a strengthened vision allows us to understand what decisions to make, how to react to certain things, and the path to take. And if we aren't acknowledging our intuition, then we may feel that we are haphazardly bumping through life, or we may not be able to make sound decisions or be really focused on the work that needs to be done. When the fear of failure comes in regarding this, naturally, when we start to point ourselves in the direction of change, of what we want to create, of who we want to be, we are going to run into fear. This is going into the layers of our unconscious self that are going to show up when we are starting to embark into a new direction or maybe not even a new, a new direction, but a new sense of self. And so naturally we are going to run into fear and fear of failure is going to be one of the biggest ones. There are many different fears. I uploaded a video on fear the other day, so you can check that out as well. It's really important to understand how fear is manifesting in our lives, but I want to single out fear of failure as a separate topic because I feel it is one of the greatest fears that can hold us back from creating success in our lives, from creating a life of fulfillment and a life of empowerment. Fear of failure can be very under the surface. As I mentioned earlier, there could be a fear of failure based on what we've seen, based on watching people fail, for example. Could even happen during family early formative years and family life history, where we may have had an experience of maybe one of our parents failing or something really bad happening to do with money or success or business. And there can be this mechanism built within ourselves. If we have failed in the past, then we may be apprehensive of trying again. But the root cause of fear of failure is going to go deep into history. It's going to have some kind of correlation with early formative years, um, maybe with family belief systems as well, being very risk adverse, being afraid of the future. And that could also come into the form of fear of failure. But if you are a business owner, if you are trying to embark on a new path within your your um, career within yourself, then this very well could come up and especially in the unconscious self. Now, what are some of the symptoms of fear of failure? Could be procrastination, could be avoidance, um, could be also almost steering ourselves in a different direction where our inner truth may want to go in a certain uh, one direction our unconscious self may pull us our fear may pull us off into a different direction distract distracting ourselves um, saying yes to things that we might not feel exactly 100 percent comfortable saying yes to so the, it can come in many different forms there can be many different manifestations and symptoms of fear of failure and of course immobilization um, i have to say that there's a common symptom or common after effect of failing some people can bounce back very quickly from failing they might show up again and try a new business launch a new business or put themselves out there after failing after maybe something very destructive has happened and then some people you never hear from them again they just sort of vanish they just disappear and so they might be even suffering from depression or loss um, due to the unconscious right so what has been activated or triggered through an experience of failure could be something like depression. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not smart enough. And that belief can really take over. And remember, these belief systems are not necessarily beliefs that we say or that we know in our conscious level of awareness is going to come from the unseen, but they come out in our behaviors, they come out in our emotions, they come out in our actions. And I know I talk about this a lot because it is the most important part of our practice you know even in the spiritual community this is one of the lesser spoken about aspects of ourselves it is one of the most overlooked aspects of ourselves because we can also become very comfortable with what we know in our mind that we overlook the mysterious and it's truthfully quite difficult sometimes to access but i can't stress this enough that fear of failure basically is preventing you preventing us from rising to our full potential and i've had to work through this i'm constantly working through this actually there are many fears that have been buried within my unconscious self that i've been working through slowly slowly it is a step by step 
process. But as long as you're pointing yourself towards your North Star, some days are going to feel like wins, some days are going to feel completely the opposite. But as long as you are continually pointing yourself in your direction and being true to who you are, you will find ways, your unconscious will find ways, your higher self will find ways to overcome those fears and just take it as step by step. What can I do today that's going to help build my tomorrow? What can I do today that's going to make a little bit of an impact with the direction that I'm embarking on? And starting can feel very daunting. We can feel very overburdened by a lot of these fears and emotions and thoughts. Start small. Start small. What is that fear that could be holding you back? Is there a fear of failure, for example? What has held you back from trying, from stepping out of your comfort zone, from being daring, from maybe taking a risk? And take little tiny actionable steps, micro steps, plan it out, jot it out. What can I do today and tomorrow and the next day step by step? to break out of this fear of failure and reward yourself. Reward yourself when you do hit these milestones, when you do overcome these little bouts of fear or worry or doubt. Right now, we have an incredible opportunity to break cycles, to overcome these old, buried, unconscious fears of putting ourselves out there, of taking risk on ourselves, of trying something new, of believing in ourselves. We are up against history right now. And the, the challenge is all within here, and that is it. It is only within here, within ourselves, within our unconscious. When we start to work through those barriers, break through them and step more into onto our path, but more into alignment with ourselves and become more empowered with our abilities to create success, to have a life of fulfillment, to be all we want to be, then we are naturally going to overcome these limiting fears step by step by step by step. So as far as I see it, fear of failure holds us back in so many ways. It can be very unconscious in the unseen. It can be also seen and very evident in our conscious level of awareness. But where could fear maybe be holding you back from trying something different, from taking a risk, from being daring, maybe from opening your heart? right? It also can tie into vulnerability and openness and connection. This doesn't just have to apply to business because everything is connected at the end of the day. This is a time for humanity to step up. This is a time for us to rise up. It's a time for us to get out of our cages, our limitations. And with each step that you take, the more fulfilled you are going to feel, the more empowered you are going to feel, and the more whole you are going to feel. If you have experienced failure in the past, what can you learn from those experiences to make changes for your future? We don't have to repeat the same situations. We're constantly changing. And if you're conscious and aware, if you are aware of what has happened in the past, aware of maybe some of the patterns that have occurred that are trying to maybe teach you something. Well, if you're aware and you can observe them, then you are going to make conscious choices for your future and your future is not going to be the same as your past. You are going to change your future right now, here and today. So if you have gone through failure, take a look back, maybe look at repeating patterns, repeating situations, what can be changed and tweaked within yourself to point you in the direction of something new, something more empowered, something more in alignment with who you are and your true potential. And again, this doesn't have to necessarily pertain only to success. This can be to do with love. It can be to do with relationships, opening your heart, being vulnerable, shining your light, expressing yourself, creating wealth, enjoyment, fulfillment, etc. can be many different areas of life. Don't be afraid of failing because every failure leads to greater growth. You can think of everything that has happened even historically. Some of the greatest teachers and philosophers have learned through error. We learn through error, we evolve, we grow faster, we grow stronger, and then we make corrections as we go. Those corrections become different. Those corrections become smaller. It's all in how we choose to deal with failures, all in how we choose to deal with challenges. And those choices, of course, are going to be a byproduct of our unconscious belief system. You can even look back at the failure that you may have experienced. What did it teach you? How did it make you stronger? What can you learn? What patterns can you break? And how can you bring those lessons that you have experienced into a practice of learning, adjustment, fine tuning, and take a step forward into a new and empowered experience?
If you are looking to overcome fears, make sure to check out the shadow project. I have a module specifically designed for fear where we take a micro approach to understanding these buried unresolved fears within ourselves so we can create actionable change within our lives. So make sure to check out the shadow project. The link will be in the description box and I'm wishing you all the best on your path forward and beyond. Take care.